Hello, I'm Jane Barton. I'm a genealogist based in Glasgow, Scotland, and I'm currently studying the parishes of West Ward and Boltons in Northern Cumbria and Rutherglen Cemetery in South Lanarkshire. Today I'm going to introduce you to Wikitree and explore some of the ways it can be used for one place studies. I'm no expert on Wikitree, but I've been experimenting with it for a while now, and I think it has a lot of potential for our community. So what's Wikitree? It's a free crowdsourcing genealogy website that allows users to build their own personal family trees while collaborating on a single worldwide tree. It was launched in November 2008, so it's coming up to 15 years old. At the last count, there were over 35 million profiles and over 1 million registered users, so it's a significant setup. But the thing that sets Wikitree apart from other collaborative family tree websites is the honour code, which now has over a quarter of a million signatories. Wikitree's mission to build a free and accurate single family tree in which each person has a single profile requires mutual trust and a common understanding of how things work. The honour code was introduced in 2011 and establishes nine common principles as follows. We collaborate. We care about accuracy and fix mistakes. We know mistakes are inevitable and assume they are unintentional. We are courteous. We respect privacy and copyright. We give credit. We cite sources and we keep information as free and open as possible. Of course, Wikitree is essentially a human system and humans are fallible, so it isn't perfect. But this quote from Roberta Estes sums things up nicely. Before Wikitree, I was sceptical and discouraged about big one single trees because there are so many errors. But Wikitree is different because it's collaborative, genial, and there are people available to help resolve any issues. So how might you use Wikitree for your one place study? Firstly, it's a place to search for information about your place and the people in it. There are a number of ways to search Wikitree. There's a person search with basic and advanced options. You can search for a surname and produce a list of all existing profiles with that surname. You can search for ancestor matches which can help you to avoid making duplicate profiles and to identify duplicates which should be merged. And there's a general search with a range of options covering text, images, categories and Wikitree's extensive help pages. Secondly, it's a place to create profiles for the people in your place. These are extracts from the profile of Harriet Gale. Harriet was born and married in the parish of West Ward and lived and died in the neighbouring parish of Boltons, so her profile includes stickers for both my One Place studies, there at the top right. Profiles include genealogical information, date and place of birth, marriage and death, and the names of parents and siblings, spouse and children. Profiles also include a biography, which can be as short or as long as you like. The key thing is that it should be fully sourced. This example includes inline references, which appear as numbered citations in the sources section at the foot of the profile. There is also the option to add photographs and research notes. Here I simply note that the profile is part of a one place study and encourage anyone with an interest in this person to get in touch. You'll notice that the names in the genealogical section are hyperlinks each of which takes you to the personal profile of another individual. You can get an overview of these family relationships by clicking on the buttons on the right hand side. Clicking on the ancestor button takes you to a five generation ancestor chart for Harriet. Again, the names are linked to personal profiles. If we click on the link for Harriet's great grandfather, James Foster, and then on the descendants button, we get a five generation descendant chart for James. Many of us have a whole forest of family trees for our place. By using Wikitree's ancestor matching tools, we can also record the web of connections between them. 
We can also create non-familial linkages through the use of free space profiles, and this is perhaps the most interesting feature for one places. Free space profiles are anything pages. They can be used to supplement your genealogy, organise your research, or collaborate with others. A free space profile can be used as the landing page for a project, so it can act as the front end for your one place study. You can make a free space profile for all sorts of things and link it to any relevant personal pro profiles. For example, a public house and its licensees, a rugby club and its members, a war memorial or roll of honour, a school register or a class photograph. The possibilities are endless. The only limit is your imagination. This is the free space profile for my Bolton study. Because one place studies are formally supported by Wikitree, my study has been allocated its own category. This does two things. First, it adds a sticker to every profile tagged in that category. And secondly, it generates a category page which effectively acts as an index to all the profiles in my study. That's the first part of it on the left. Within my study, I have a sub project which has its own free space page. This will eventually become a full transcription of the 1851 census of Bolton High, with links to the personal profiles of all 365 individuals and the free space profiles of all 75 houses listed in that census. I expect I'll be working on this for quite a while. A wiki is a website designed for collaboration. Wikitree has primarily collaborate via trusted lists, which control access to the profiles of living people, and projects, which are a means for groups of Wikitreeers to coordinate their efforts. Top-level projects are the most formal, sub-projects are less formal, and free space projects can be anything you want them to be. So your one place study would be a free space project and you would be its coordinator. You even get a badge. The Notables project is a very active project on Wikitree. If you have a notable person in your place, you might find that they already have a profile. This is Sir William Henry Bragg, a Nobel Prize winning physicist who was born in West Ward. He already had a profile and I just needed to link to him from my study page. Of course, collaboration requires communication and Wikitreeers communicate in various ways, including change logs and comments on profiles, private messages, the G2G or Genealogist to Genealogist forum and a Discord server. Finally, Wikitree is a place to share your one place study with the world. It can be a web based front end for your study, either by itself or in conjunction with other media, for example, a blog. It can be a repository for your data and it can address legacy issues by creating a publicly accessible archive of your work. I've only added a handful of profiles to my Brother Glen Cemetery study so far, but the project page provides a place to share links to information published elsewhere. For example, there's a link to a self-guided war graves walk published on Google Maps. And it's a point of contact for anyone with an interest in the cemetery and its residents. If you'd like to know more, you might like to explore the following links. There's Wikitree's YouTube channel, a how-to guide for new members, an overview of the One Place Studies project on Wikitree with links to individual studies, and an overview of the cemeteries project. Thank you for listening and enjoy the rest of the event.